Big Health Daddy here. First half breakdown of Milwaukee Bucks in Boston. <clears throat> of starting off, I'm just gonna do my notes. I'll check out the the stats and um, do a, a little coverage, and that'll be about it. So um, Boston was two of nine starting off. Uh, Bucks scored ten in a row with about eight minutes left in that first quarter. So kind of what I was seeing in Boston, they came out a little bit slow, a little bit sluggish. Giannis scored or assisted for all of the first 13 points. But both teams have really good defense, great defense, great hands. I'm seeing both teams, and I got a fly here. I'm just trying to go one take fly. Let me be, Jesus. Anyways, both teams have really good defense. We'll see what the steals and blocks are. Uh, Bucks, 10. Um, 10 to 2 points. Oh, Bucks had 10 points in the paint to Boston's 2 points in the paint. Um, Bucks really not doing good from the 3 point, and we can kind of see that going out through the rest of the first half. Um, here we go. I said Boston came out a little bit sluggish. They only had 20 points in that first quarter. And today's NBA, man, they could go for 35 easy, you know, on a good day. These NBA teams, they get scorn. <clears throat> Anyways, we've seen in that second quarter, Boston starting to fight, fight back. They tied it up with about 8 minutes and 50 seconds left in that second quarter. Allen and Bobby Portis are really, like, hindering this team, slowing the team down. I noticed in the game six, Grayson Allen, he, he's kind of doing the same thing. He's not really um, getting buckets. He's, um, I mean, today he was attacking the paint. Uh, but he's just not really getting much to fall. Portis also, I think he had two or three fouls. And he's really not getting many points either. Between them two, they really need them two to get some production going. Bobby Portis is pretty long. You know, he can get deep, some defensive stops, blocks. Um, I did see Allen, though. He had a good steal in that second half. The second quarter, I believe, is when he did get that steal. Um, Boston, eight three-pointers. Keeping him in the game at that point. Um, maybe that was about four minutes left to go in the second half. Um, Bucks missing the last nine from three. And I think they ended the last, they missed their last 11 three pointers. So this three point shot is really keeping Boston in the game because the Bucks can't hit, and Boston is hitting them three pointers. Uh, Lopez, third block, three minutes and 20 seconds left in the game. Horford, third foul. That could be big also because Horford is really good at guarding Giannis. And he could kind of, you know, take Giannis to the, to, to the paint, take him to the basket, get real physical with him. So that could be big. we got to look into that in the second half also. Boston fans, man, getting really loud. They're getting into this game. It's game seven. What more could you want? The best two words in the basketball in the NBA game seven man let's go oh sheesh it's only the first half man we're seeing um Tatum and Giannis doing big things doing what they're supposed to do as superstars as the best player on on their respective teams Celtics came out 28 point second quarter look at that Bucks only 17 points in the second quarter. So you could see if, if I was saying the Bucks came out slow with a 20 point first quarter, the 17 points scored by the Bucks really slow second quarter. Uh, Tatum, 17 points. Uh, Horford, only two points. Uh, I wanted to see like the team. They don't have it broken down like. Man. So um, we got Drew Holiday. With the two steals, Portis with a steal. So, you know, there's, there's three steals. They don't really have Lopez. Um, I think he had uh, the three blocks that I mentioned earlier. And then let's, we can see the steals. Jay Brown, two steals. Smart, two steals. Um, Daniel Tice, he had two steals. So let me see if I can look at his blocks real quick. Um, no. Oh, they do have a block. I thought he had more than one block, though. So, Tice had a block. So, we're seeing both teams have really good defense. Um, so, we'll see what happens in this second, this second half going into the third quarter. 
whatever team could really get on that third quarter um, is really going to set the tone for the second half. So we'll see who can who can come out strong that third quarter, set the pace, and who could win. If you checked out my last video, you would know who I got winning today's game and tonight's game. I'm going to give you a hint for tonight's game. It's a team that's wearing green. I'll get back to you when the game's over. Big HD ENT. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know who you think is winning. Peace. I'll check you out when the game's over.